Hi, this is Highbridge Caravans Devon Branch and on this very windy December day we're doing some walk around videos on our new and used stock and this particular one is quite a rare and very very nice uh, 2016 on a 16 plate Hillside Castleton so uh, Hillside are uh, a um, very uh, high-end van converter predominantly a Volkswagen but they have done over the years pretty much every other van as well um, from Derbyshire. We are main dealers for them. There's a couple of new hillsides there. Uh, they're the last of the uh, the old price ticket ones. They're about 50 to 55 depending if you go for new or used. This is a 16 plate transit based hillside Castleton. Uh, we're going to say Castleton because they're a northern company not Castleton. Uh, and she's priced at 36995 So let's have a, have a little look at the window sheets. So she's a hillside Castleton. Castleton and based on the uh, Ford Transit Custom which is a fantastic drive. Uh, it's a camper van it's a four berth, it's got an upstairs bed and a downstairs bed, it's a four seat belt van, 3.3 uh, tonnes, you can drive it on your car licence. It's a Ford Transit Custom, 2.2 turbo diesel, that is the absolutely bomb through Ford Puma engine, six speed manual, done 26,000 miles, she's just under five metres long, 1.99 wide and 2.08 high with the roof down and price at 36,905 which will be fully MOT'd, serviced, warranted, etc, etc. Uh, so the Castleton is a short wheelbase transit custom with a pop top on top. This is an SCA pop top who are a German, I think they're a German manufacturer, but they build very, very high quality pop tops. So as we go around the back, you'll see the difference. You can sort of see the difference from here. It's double hinged, it's hinged at the back as well, so it lifts the back up so you've got more headroom, um, both for sleeping in and for uh, for being in the van, so it's a much bigger pop top, which is great and a much better quality one. This one's looking fantastic in magnetic grey, uh, you've got the Ford alloy wheels, she's got heated seats, front and rear parking sensors, blue teeth, so she's all uh, really high spec, hillside always build on really high spec base vehicles and it's in fantastic condition, it was a local owner, uh, I think it's had a couple of owners, we bought it off of a local owner who's given up most homing but it's really looked after the van very very well indeed. So let's have a little walk around, so we've got full colour coding all the way around, central lock-in obviously, air conditioning, cruise control, um, these smart flush fit tinted windows, tyres are all really really good continentals coming around to the back I mean the difference you'll get between a transit custom and a Volkswagen transporter if I stand back you can see they're a little bit wider basically so they still fit in a standard parking space you can buy these with seats in the back as a car as well so they're uh, still usable day to day but that little bit of extra width just gives you a slightly bigger bed basically um, coming around to the back we can see you've got a tow bar which is very handy for putting a bike rack on and you can see the height difference there so this is a brand new uh, Wild X Proteus which is a really really good Ford Transit custom base van these use a um, Westphalia Dreamer based roof from Europe um, Whereas this, you can just see, it's got that extra bit of height, a bigger bed, higher roof, better storage space, better better room inside the van, basically, less claustrophobic. So that's a really good thing. Opening up the back door, so we've got the tailgate type door on it. Now you can see from the back here, the things I love about Hillside, I think these are one of the, if not the best built camper on the market. Uh, they uh, only build on new vehicles, so this hasn't been a builder's van first. And the quality of the cabinet work, you've got really solid wood cabinet work, um, very well designed. The only use rib beds, we'll see more of this from the inside, but this is not a rock and roll slide out bed that will cut your fingers off and injure you. This is a rib bed, RIB bed, again a German component. and. Um, you just pull a couple of levers basically to flatten your bed out dead easy very good if you've got a bad back the other really good feature with it is you can fold this one at the back up so you've got full height storage at the rear if you want to uh, which is really good if you've got two hands to do it because you need to pull a lever you got your little gas locker for your camping gas bottle down there because it's a buy and he's left his camping gas bottle in it you got some carpets and some silver insulating screens down there as well which is really good and storage underneath the back you don't put that up there. There we go, so that's storage underneath the seat. On the other side, I think there's a uh, porta potty in the uh, in the other one, which is a dead handy thing to have. Rear speakers in the back as well for your sounds. Very, very good, all in excellent condition. We'll close the back up there. 
obviously this is very low mileage for a 16 plate camper because these will get used day to day and this one uh, clearly hasn't been which is great so we can see the rear parking sensors you got your mains hook up there it's got leisure battery you can see over there you probably can't see but there's a little stubby exhaust pipe and that's the exhaust pipe for your Abish Spacker factory fitted diesel heating which makes it practical year round which is great and overall it's a really nice van and good value as well I think anyway compared to a, a VW so looking at the cab side of things these are excellent vans to drive they're a nice place to sit you've got heated seats in this one as well so it's a really high spec I dare say this was the top of the range transit custom specification I would imagine uh, so you've got your parking sensors uh, to switch them off there if you wish you've got your steering wheel controls for your stereo and cruise control and all that malarkey you got your stereo over there which i'm sure that's got your blue teeth built into it i'd imagine um this has got a faction category one alarm system factory fitted as well you got aircon you got six speed gearbox twin airbags um i'm sure that passenger seat swivels i for the life of me can't find the lever to do so if it doesn't we can put it on a swivel base for you if you want it to but i'm sure knowing these vans as i do um that it would have been on a swivel base from new it still looks like it is i just can't find the lever but i think it does swivel if not we can put it on a swivel base for you upholstery is all in really good condition as i say heated seats fantastic you never ever see them in, in campers but i really like that in my car and you probably heard that thunk there as well people get obsessed with the vws the vw is a very well built van it drives very very nicely but i don't think these are any worse that's for sure um and that extra little bit of width just gives you that extra little bit of space in the bed which can be a bit tight in the vws for some particularly if you're my size so opening up the side door you can see you're straight into the uh, stereotypical hillside sort of arrangement so you've got a lovely l-shaped kitchen with that sort of hard solid wood cabinet work 12 volt fridge freezer or 12 volt fridge anyway down there with a the ice box uh, you've got your blower for your Eberspacher diesel powered blown air heating system and you've got a grill which you don't see in a lot of campers but that just takes your your conceivable cooking onto a different level in the back there there's your rib bed that i was talking about so whereas uh, vw beds a lot of them will just slide out and they can be a right pain to do this one you got a couple of levers basically if i had two hands i'd do it but there's a lever there that you pull and that allows this simply to flip over there and then there's a lever on the side of there that you pull that allows that to flatten off and then you've got a very very comfortable and a good sized bed it's very easy to do other nice things that i like usb charger there and a 12 volt charger there so you can, if you're outside you can plug in electrical items to charge them you got your porta potty underneath of there which is a nice thing put it outside in the toilet tent or use it inside um your table good size table there goes in a pole there on top of your kitchen you've got a really good three gas burners and a sink so for the for the aspiring camper chef out there this is definitely a step up for most fans lots and lots of storage that's quite deep as you can see there this one will be a good one as well yep that's really big there more storage over here with your circuit breakers your smoke alarm carbon monoxide alarm your Eberspacher diesel powered heating system controller there your controls for the van you've got an onboard fresh water tank in these which is filled up through the driver's footwell which is really cool um battery level gauge um water pump on off switch for your sink and you've got two main sockets and another 12 volt socket so that's five sockets in total in a camper van which is excellent that's your Eberspacher control for your blown air heating just set a temperature and it will maintain it up here we've got a uh, really handy storage shelf uh, which i like that uh, including we've just found these uh, some copies of what i think might be the previous owner's uh, autobiography about a uh, lad from Salkham. he went off to sea and the previous owner of this van was a um, uh, icelandic trawler captain believe it or not amongst other things over the years so uh, we will leave a copy of his book with the van for anybody that buys it so you don't get that every day of the week your sca pop top has got one two three big pull down window vents there which is great it's really really tall i can't i'm six foot and i can't even touch the ceiling here um the other really really good thing with it is you've got this so when it's the roof is down 
that will come out and cover the roof so you don't feel like you're sitting in a camper it keeps it quieter as well and um, you've got if I look up there you can just see instead of having god awful straps to hold your roof down this has got proper German positive uh, two stage catches basically which is much better now you've also got a roof bed up there which is a big roof bed you might want to sleep and have a bed each you might want to sleep up here when it's warm that's really really big and it's quite low down as well so if you just stand on the cab seat kitchen then into there it's not bad to get into but look at all that room down there so you could if you want sleep your head at that end that's the difference with the SCA roof normally you have to get in do a 360 difficult if there's two of you this one there's plenty of room if you wanted to to sleep with your head down that end if you wish but yeah it's just acres and acres of room uh, negatives condition wise is fantastic but there are as with all pop tops there's the odd little pinprick uh, sort of mark there um, none of them will be letting any water or anything like that but it's just something you do get with any used pop top you can re-canvas these but you probably won't need doing for another 10 or 15 years at least if you look after it it'll never need doing only other negative is there's just a slight slight bit of staining just there and just there which we might be able to get off um, during the valeting process but it's nothing much overall it is a lovely van i really like this i would happily buy this and drive it day to day because you'll be getting 30 to 40 mile per gallon um, minimal depreciation and it'll be a really fun vehicle to own so i'd love to have this myself but i can't afford it so it's available for sale it is the hillside castleton at highbridge caravans devon branch if you call in, please call us at the Devon branch. Don't call Somerset, call Highbridge Devon. Numbers on the website or Google Highbridge Caravans Devon. Um, you can have a look at us on the website, highbridgecaravan.co.uk. You can leave a comment here if you've seen this video on YouTube and we will um, come back to you. Um, but we don't live monitor the comment section, so it's quicker to contact us through the website or to uh, simply pick up the phone and ring us about this gorgeous hillside Castleton, Castleton, priced at 36.95 at Highbridge Caravans, Devon. Thank you for your time and goodbye.